Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make rollout sugar cookie dough using Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix. This is a video that we have done before in the past, but today I just want to go ahead and remake it just to update it. So let's get started. We are going to begin by placing one whole stick and four tablespoons of butter into a bowl. I'm also going to go ahead and add in one large egg and we're going to mix this on medium speed for approximately four minutes until this incorporates. While the mixer is still on, I'm going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of granulated white sugar. This is going to help the butter and the egg fluff up and it's going to create the base for our dough. I also suggest to stop your mixer in between and go ahead and scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure that we incorporate all the ingredients evenly. After approximately four minutes of mixing, we're going to go ahead and stop our mixer and I'm going to begin to add in one tablespoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. I'm also going to go ahead and add in the one pack of Betty, Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix. And I added one cup and one quarter of all purpose flour. You can definitely add one cup so that your mix or your dough can be a little bit more soft, but I like mine to be very uh, put together and I don't like any of, of my cookies to spread too much so adding in the extra one quarter cup is going to help keep our dough together and it's going to help it prevent from spreading so much and I'm going to continue to mix this dough on low speed for approximately three to four minutes you're going to know that your dough is ready when it starts to pull from the sides of the bowl and as you can see here the sides of the bowl are pretty clean um, I do want to reiterate uh, something that I mentioned earlier so adding in that extra one quarter cup of flour is going to help your cookies spread less because the packs of sugar cookie mix usually have a lot of rising agents like baking powder baking soda and that's what creates the spread so we're trying to eliminate that a little bit by adding in extra flour to these sugar cookie mix bags after approximately four minutes this is how the dough looks here is a sample by holding it in my hand um, you will probably have to knead this by hand just to make sure that it comes together a tiny little bit but I will mention that this dough is a little crumbly. It's going to be a little bit dry to the touch of the hands. But like I mentioned, you can also add just one cup of all-purpose flour. I like to add one cup and a quarter to help prevent the spread. Now you can go ahead and roll out your dough and bake your cookies. I went ahead and preheated my oven to 325 degrees and I baked my cookies for between 10 to 12 minutes depending on how crispy you want them on the edges. I like mine a little bit soft so I went ahead and did 11 minutes. Um, you can go the full 12 or always make sure to do a test run. So bake a small cookie and see if your oven temperature is uh, calibrated if not you might need less or more time but the sweet spot is between 10 to 12 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit when the cookies come out of the oven I like to allow them to rest in the cookie sheet for approximately 10 minutes and you can either begin to decorate them as soon as they come out and they've rested or you can also go ahead and store them in the refrigerator in an airtight container and decorate them later I really hope that you like this recipe. I will go ahead and link the video to the previous recipe that I posted on this 
a few years ago so that you can compare. This is definitely the updated uh, recipe, so I recommend using this one. Don't forget to leave me a comment and your questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, share it with a friend, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!